So I'm going to share my screen. And I think I have everything open that I want you to look at. So, um, uh, all right. So this is problem three, three, four, 60 second timer. When you go to, um, the assignment three, three, four, I hope it will pop up here. Okay, so there's two 334 assignments um, because one of them is uh, created for the digital logic board and the other one for the digital mini system. Hang on a second, I'm going to shut the door. Okay, sorry about that. All right, now. Neither one of these we're going to be using, obviously, um, because that's what we would use to um, uh, uh, create a PLD uh, circuit. Um, we would be programming the, the device, the programmable logic device, but we're not doing that physically, so and we can't do that in multi-sim. So, so, um, but the the assignment you're going to fi find the 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 section you're going to find the correct assignment in is the one that says DMS. Um, so if you click on that and you go to the resources tab, uh, there's nothing in there except directions. So um, I'm going to uh, go through these with you and then I will show you an example. So this is not very long and complicated, it's pretty simple. Um, what we're going to do is create a timer. Um, we'll design and simulate it. We won't build it, but we're going to create a timer. Um, and these are the uh, uh, design requirements. It says design a digital 60 second timer that counts from 0 to 59. Um, it doesn't say 0 to 60 because, and this is something you have to understand, of one of the requirements down below. So hang on a second. So we have two inputs and two outputs. So for the displays, you can use the hex displays. You may use the hex displays. You don't have to use the seven segment display and the driver. That It, it shows that in this picture. You can just replace these with the hex displays, just like you did in the um, now serving display. This time we have a clock um, as one input and there is a reset switch. The clock signal, you're going to create a one hertz frequency because that will give you a period of a second. So the clock will actually count 60 seconds. It's a one hertz square wave. Now the reset signal, and, and pay attention to these directions, when reset is a logic zero, that resets the clock to zero, zero. Okay, resets and holds the count at zero, zero. So it can't be a push button switch because it has to hold the count. Now, when the reset signal is a logic one, counting is enabled. All right, so that's not real complicated. The last sentence explains why it says count from 0 to 59 because when the count reaches 60 seconds it should go back to 0 and count all over again so technically if we're counting if we're starting at 0 0 to 59 is actually 60 seconds so this timer will go from 0 to 59 and then back to zero and count all over again because <coughs> uh, hang on someone's at the door let me pause this okay so um that sentence right there explains why we're not going to see 60 seconds here it's going to go from zero to 59 and then back to zero and count all over again um, does, does anybody not understand that? Let me know if you don't understand that. All 
Okay, so then the design specs tell you that the ones unit will be controlled by a 74193 MSI. Okay, there's a 74163 and a 193. The only thing that you have in Multisim Live is the 193. Actually, you know, I should have looked at that. I wonder if you could change it to 63. I'll check that in a minute. So that's going to be your ones, your ones display. And then your tens display is going to be controlled um, uh, by JK flip-flops. It's going to be constructed using JK flip-flops. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if you have to add other logic to um, accompany these uh, directions or, or criteria up here, then you need to do that. And then when you finish with your circuit, submit it to Canvas. Please do not take a picture of it and submit it to Canvas. I need to be able to test it. So I need a link to your circuit. I do not need a picture of it. So right now I'm going to open up a similar circuit in Multisim that was created. This, this is a circuit created in Multisim. It does not comply with all these constraints. So this is not, there's many things that this circuit that I'm going to show you does wrong or incorrectly. But what I want to show you um, is just the basic operation. So these displays are seven segment displays with display drivers. So you won't be using these. You won't be using these. You'll just be using hex displays. I just don't think it's worth the time it takes to put these in the circuit when you have a hex display. So first thing, up here are D flip-flops. The criteria require JK flip-flops. Okay, so that's the first thing that's wrong with this circuit. Um, this is a 74, mm, I think this is a seven, I think this is even a 7493. I don't think it's a, I think that's what it is. But uh, you're going to be using a 74193 for the ones place and JK flip-flops for the tens place. Now, another thing that's wrong with this circuit is here's the reset switch. Now, if I turn this circuit on, which I will do right now. Um, oh, and by the way, this clock right here is set to one hertz. So if you set your frequency to one hertz, this will actually count um, seconds. So right now it's counting seconds. Okay, so if I reset it, here's my reset switch. Right now the reset switch is hooked to ground. So I'm going to pause this and go back to the criteria, which said if the reset switch is a logic zero, that will reset the count. So if it's a logic zero, it will reset the count. Well, this is a logic zero right now. Sorry. This is a logic zero right now, and it's counting. So if I change this to a logic one, it will reset the count. So that's backwards from the directions. I mean, that's a very minor fix. But I'm just saying, the switch is backwards, or, or it operates opposite to the directions. These guys are D flip-flops instead of JK flip-flops. This is not a 74163. Um, and so if I, I'm going to increase this frequency just so it counts a little faster. Um, so you can see the other thing that's wrong with this circuit. So let me go ahead and turn it back on. Oh, I guess I had to turn it off before I did that. Let me turn it off. Huh? Hmm. Okay, there we go. So watch what happens. It 
So this circuit, as it's designed, stops at 60. It doesn't continue counting. So I'm going to reset it to zero. So what it's supposed to do, according to the directions, what it's supposed to do is go from zero to 59 and then start over. So if it goes from 0 to 59, it is counting 60 seconds. If it goes from 0 to 60, it's actually counting 61 seconds. So just to review, this counter, when you have it enabled, should go from 0 to 59 and back again, and just keep counting. 0 to 59, 0 to 59, 0 to 59, unless you reset it. When you reset it, it'll hold the count at 0 until you start it again. Okay? So it gives you a little bit of an idea, but uh, I just want you to understand that this circuit right here does not follow the criteria um, described in the assignment.